Hello and welcome to this new video. In the last video I have shown how to install the Linux subsystem for Windows in the Pro version of Windows 11. However, there was a question, is it also possible in the Home Edition of Windows? And that's what we want to have a look at in this video. Okay, the first thing we need to do in Windows is to install the Linux system of our choice. In my case, I want to use Ubuntu and I have already installed it from the Microsoft Store. So just go to the Microsoft Store, look up your Windows uh, Linux system you want to use and install it. So I've already installed it. I can open it from here or it's also added to my start menu. However, like in the pro version, if I start it, I will most likely get an error message that the Linux subsystem is missing in Windows. So we have to install some components first. Okay, we can do that in the settings. So we go to settings and then we click on apps and then we have to go to optional features here. This will open this list here and we have to scroll to the bottom of the list and then we have here more Windows features which will open this nice window here. I will close the store and also the Linux command prompt. And from these features here, we need to install, of course, the Windows subsystem for Linux and also the virtual machine platform. And this is the difference between the home and the pro version. In the pro version of Windows, you have the Hyper-V platform, the Hyper-V functionality, and this functionality is not available in the home edition. So here it's called virtual machine platform. So I assume that's some stripped down version of the Hyper-V platform. We click OK, then the features will get installed and we have to do a reboot of our system. OK, here we go. Restart and the computer restarts. See you in a minute. OK, the restart is done. Let's see if it works now. So let's again start Ubuntu from the start menu and well, Microsoft annoys us with another error message here. And what it tells us is that we need an update to a kernel component. And lucky for us, uh, we have a link here we can just copy by selecting it and right click. This will copy the link to the clipboard. And now we can open a browser here and just paste the link. Okay, enter. Uh, do I want to sync? No, well, not now browser. Okay. Let's open the page and from this page we have to download this kernel update package here. Don't ask why this isn't installed automatically. Um, I would expect if I install a Linux system from the Windows Store that it will automatically install all the requirements like the components we've installed previously and also this update here. However, we have to do it manually for an unknown reason. Okay. I open the installer and all we need to do here is click next and this will install the update to our system and lucky for us uh, restart is not required. So let's close it and try again to run Ubuntu and now it's working. It will take a while to well install the basic components and after that we should be able to enter a username and a password. Okay, here we go. We can enter a Unix username. This can completely be different from your Windows login and we can also or have to set a password here and also this can be completely independent from your Windows login. Okay, here we go. Now we are finished. We have installed Linux subsystem for Windows. Uh, in our case, we have installed Ubuntu and if you want to run it in the future, well, you just, just go to the start menu and start Ubuntu. This will open this command prompt here. And you can also use, of course, the Windows terminal, which comes pre-installed with Windows 11, which is a much nicer user experience. And you can also open your Linux system from here and work with it in the Windows terminal. Okay, well, that's it. That's what I wanted to show in this video install the Linux subsystem for Windows 11 Home. Okay, goodbye.